we'll get a cutscene. Sucks. Okay. You guys were good. Um, all right. Return to Celiana. Return to Okay. Well, good job, me. I looked at a few things. Jesus Christ. Uh-huh. Great. Uh, no, I can't hear you, Erk. Did you have your mic muted? Maybe I need to... Reset my shit, I guess. Hello? I don't see a green thing lighting up for me. I can't believe Ark broke his own mic. Yeah, nothing, Ark. It shows, like, muted. On both ends, back and forth, just turn it on and off. Ah, uh -huh. just really. Oh boy, mm -hmm. what a treat! Understood. Yeah. Uh huh. Um Roger. Let's see. Oh jeez. Let's do this. Sure is uh important all these things I'm skipping. Uh huh uh huh.
Is that monster from the expansion? Uh, yes. It's in previous games, or it was in the hey, full kid, ultimate generation, I believe, but we got things to yeah, discuss. it's part of the expansion. You've heard the rumors of Shattered Horn, right? Shattered Horn. Seems a few hunters exploring the Horfrost's reach caught a glimpse of something. Something like a Kirin with its horn broken off. Well, <laughs> I know, right? A real ear perker. So, I figured I'd go out to the reach and take a look for myself. Mmm, I looked high and low, but no sign of any Kirin. Much less a hornless one. But I did find tracks. Fresh tracks. It's strange, though. Having a Kirin show up all of a sudden out here. Which means... It came from somewhere else. So, we gotta go and find this Shattered Horn. I already filed a quest with your handler. Who knows where it came from and what's up with its horn? But it's our job to put the pieces together. Now get moving and don't keep me waiting. It gives you purple for special assignments. Yep. Yep. Um, now Urk is offline. Cool. He said he was going to be right back, and then when he came back, his mic wasn't work working. Bunch of HR at me, didn't they? I know how to post and join quests. I'm playing for a while. Oh no. Oh god. A Kieran. I can fight a Kieran by myself. Son of a bitch. Um, trophy fishing. Do a few of these now that I've seen the Zenover, I suppose. Can, can you hear there me now? What I the can hear you now. What the hell is going on? I don't know. Um, I know that when I I didn't hear you in chat and I went to look at my audio settings, it was set to default instead of, you know, what the things were. I don't know what it defaulted to, but it, I didn't change anything midway through the call, but you came back and your shit wasn't working. Sounds like. Dude, yeah. So that's the weird part. The microphone was fine. Like I could locally talk and hear myself, but even in the even in the Discord, like uh, you know the audio thing where you can test it. Yeah. It it was not like I would click it, it would start, and then I would say something, and it would immediately end. And uh, I couldn't. It was so weird. I don't know. Discord just did not want to. I don't know. It has problems. The one thing I did do when you stepped away is I there was an update for Discord. I updated it, came back, and joined back in the call. Um, I'm huh. not sure if that maybe had something to do with it, but I mean, you didn't change anything on your end. No, but I did have to like I restarted my computer and there was an update that that I clicked on. It didn't fix okay. anything immediately. I don't know. Huh. I couldn't tell you. Whatever. <laughs> It's fixed now, I guess. But okay. Discord was having well, some, I got some the, problems. 
the cutscene with the the Zenoger and the new area. Um, oh, you went to the uh, the Galans. Yeah, it's it, it didn't tell me that's where I was going. It said to go to the somewhere else. Hey, you. Uh, oh, you're in the gathering hub now. Oh, yeah, there you are. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they they kind of um, so yeah, that's that's the next step. They introduce you to the guiding lands. Yeah, it said um, I was going to Elder's Recess, and it popped you there. I guess that's the story thing. Yeah, you you followed some shit, and then you kind of ended up in the guiding lands, and that's where the Zenogar kind of was. Okay. Um, so this specific is it an optional quest. What, for the Guiding Lands? Uh, I'm just the next thing to do. Oh, so the next thing to do is get your Hunter rank up. Um, okay. Well, I have a bunch and of kind of mess around. Do, there's, um, yeah, I mean, we should this... should probably do whatever event quests. You wanna, what are you right now? What HR? I mean, MR. Uh, let's see here. I think it went up to 32. 32. Okay, so you can probably... Take a look at all the events. Um, I would say... I can go all the way up to I am tranquil, I am sound. I am tranquil, I am sound. Really? The Yin Gruga? Uh, yeah, apparently. Huh. And I can actually okay, do that the, makes... the stuff on the last page, but I can't do the last three on the third page. Oh, that makes sense, because those are MR-70. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, but I can do any, any of the event ones, except for yeah, those I won't, Yeah, I won't spoil 70. what those are. Those are, like, those are sort of unlocked through the, the Guiding Lands a little bit. But, yeah, I mean, it says Brute Tigrex, Silver Rathalos, Golden Rathalos, and the things. Oh, it just tells you what they are? That's lame. It said, Yeah, it says Hunt a <laughs> But, I mean, I remember hunting Gold and Silver Rathian and Rathalos on the four ultimate way back when in brute tigrex uh, i think maybe gotcha i'm not sure well, I, I i know of the monsters but i didn't know you know what variants they had in this game in fact i it. thought the only thing for zenogre they would have was a variant i didn't realize they'd have the og so i'm surprised at that yeah yeah um, they got the og rolling around um but what should i be going for I mean, obviously, going get my master rank up. Is there a monster that? Uh... Well, so it's more. Yeah, there there are things that you should do. I think the big one right now is, uh, what weapons are you hoping to kind of run with? Well, I mean, charge blade mostly. Uh, great sword be a secondary. Okay. Those are my main two that I go with. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna take a look at the weapons. Um, right now I got the Chrome 3. Yeah, so the, for the, for the Great Sword, I mean, see, so we have a couple of options, really. We could do the event quest for the, the palace ones, the Royal Palace, uh, for a couple of weapon sets, those are really good. Um, mm -hmm. or we could... We could farm uh, Shara to make the, his weapons. His weapons are really his weapons are really really good starter in games. The uh, palace, the guild palace ones, kind of are better in some cases, but not all cases. So for charge blade, let's see. The best charge blade is going to be gold Rathian, which you can't do. Okay. Um, what about armor? So the so for the follow up on there, well, ten, eight. Or how about this? Is there any like special event stuff that gives you like um, cosmetic uh, outfits? Like there's the Resident Evil one I haven't done. Oh yeah, I'm, we should I do the done any events. I haven't done any events. <laughs> yeah, the events are fun. Um, 
The Guild Palace weapons come from Fifty Shades of White, which is just a berry off. Uh, there, uh, let's see. That's the master rank. Yeah, there is a charge blade that comes from Every Hunter's Dream <laughs> Three. It's supposed to be okay. I don't know if it's it's probably not the best one, but it's okay. Um, trophy fishing gives a great sword that's okay it's just a giant fish so it's kind of funny okay uh let's see scores of oars gives a pickaxe longsword oh which is usable um beef is never a mistake it gives a uh, a hammer that's a giant chicken leg <laughs> okay uh <laughs> Um, I don't remember what the chilling entrance gives. Oh, it's like a... Uh, okay. Hey, Star Platinum. It's special reward. Yeah, so... Um, the Resident Evil one gives layered armor for... Uh, Claire and Leon, and it also gives emotes oh. and... I mean, uh, I want to do that. <laughs> yeah, we should totally do it because it's just fun. It's a fun one. Um, Which one is that? A shocking. Uh, that's the Resident Evil Return of the Bioweapon. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah. Um, we can. We, yeah, Bale, why not just get in there and, and do that? Okay. It's fun. I won't. It it'll kind of tell you a little bit what's going on, but they. It's a fun one. Um, so I should definitely pack a. Yeah, it's telling me about zombification and herbs. Gather green herbs found the locale to reverse zombification. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you combine green herbs with red herbs, you can improve its potency and make sure to gather enough of these herbs and mitigate the zombified state before entering battle. Wow. When you become zombified, you won't react to damage and your health will recover naturally by itself. However, there are drawbacks. Certain actions such as evading cannot be performed. Why would you want to if you don't take damage? Oh, you take damage. Items it's just... Be used. Oh, you just won't react to damage. Yeah, so it's like gotcha. having Rocksteady on permanently. Rocksteady and like regen. Yeah. But it's not enough to if it's if you're getting wailed on. Gotcha. Now I see the downside. Almost all items can be used. Herbs. Whoops. You can't use herbs. No, you get herbs in oh, the. There's special gotcha. herbs that you Whetstone's can get in the, on the map. Tools and special scope. You cannot recover health from almost any items or interactables. However, being zombified means that you have adapted to the effluvium, so acidic damage is negated. In areas with effluvium present, your health will naturally recover. So there are advantages. Yep. Wow. <laughs> also, acid doesn't, doesn't hurt you. Yeah, it is, but it's just you get in there and mess with it. Charge Blade is really fun with it because you don't have to worry about getting knocked out of your amp discharge. Oh, yeah. I like this one because you can just really go ham <laughs> on him. Should I get the Iceborne DLC? It's a little expensive. It's entirely up to you. Um, it's essentially a, a second. It's another 50... Like, Monster Hunter World, imagine 50% of that game is just added on to it. There's a lot of content. Maybe more. Maybe more than 50%. Um, should I get Immunity Mantle? No, don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Embrace the zombification. Okay. All you have to do is just walk around going, Stars! <laughs> stars! Resident Evil 3 is coming out, but, um. Gosh, I'm so distracted by Animal Crossing and Final Fantasy. Yep. There's a lot of. There's a lot of shit. That's honestly. I, I don't know if I could handle another Animal Crossing. I put so much time into the DS version. I just... 3DS man. or DS? The, the DS. I think it was just the DS. Been a while. Since that one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This was this was way, way better. This was, I think, before... Uh, I think this was even before I went up to Din. Hmm. Where... Oh, where are the green herbs? Oh, uh, you got. You want to come down to the the second one? Oh, second camp. Fly there. Yeah. yeah. Um, ha 
pound down. Um, don't, it, they're not these. These are regular herbs. Oh, well, I made potions, I guess. They are these green herbs. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. And then there are red herbs, like right here. Okay. And you can combine them in your items. Uh, yeah. Oh, he is back down this way. That's interesting. Okay. Mr. Screen Red. Um, some more green herbs. You're going to find a lot of green herbs, but you're not going to find a lot of red ones. And that's totally okay. I'll just drop these. There he is. I'm gonna. So here's a here's a nice little trick. Um, if you shoot a slinger pot on the ground, they get distracted, and then you can slinger under their face and run them into a wall. <laughs> nice. That works with every every monster. You catch them unaware. You go, cat! I fucking love that thing. Uh-oh! <laughs> yeah. Would you taint it? <laughs> I need rocks. <laughs> you need a laser. Okay, good thing we're down here. <laughs> Running. Jesus. Yeah, but you see, like, that didn't do much damage to me, even though I got hit by it. Hmm. I need rocks. Really? What do you need rocks for? For my greatsword. Greatsword has kind of a new, uh, kind of a dance to get to your true charge slash. Weapon mechanics are great in this game. Like, when you start playing around with some of the other ones, you're really, really going to appreciate it. Um... And actually, yeah, so there are optionals we need to do for you, which are basically the, uh, the ones to upgrade your mantles. Oh, you're a zombie! Take that, Val. Did you ever like, um... Hey, man. <laughs> you knocked me up and I mounted him. Nice. Uh, can you weaken the tail? <laughs> Uh, you can't dodge while you're uh, nope. zombie, right? <laughs> you cannot. I'm trying to hit the tail from down here. That's alright, he's coming down. So, have you learned the, the weekend mechanic with the uh, slinger yet? No, I haven't really learned anything with the slinger yet. Okay. Well, so, I mean, I say learn, but I mean, it's more, have you used it? Um, 
the clutch claw whenever you you get on them and hit them? Um, like I've clutched on them and done like just the the, the big super move thing. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not so. Please don't kill me. So when you do that, it weakens their, uh, it weakens that part. So you do more damage to it, and you have a, if you use Tenderize, you have a higher affinity chance on it, too. I'm alive, I'm not a zombie for some, do you, do you have, like, widespread or something? I don't think so, it wears off at some point. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Oh, I, I wish it didn't, didn't though, because I really like it. <laughs> oh, it's running good. Yeah. So the the clutch claw mechanics, there's two parts to it. Mm -hmm. If you clutch on and then you just do your attack. If you have a heavy weapon, which is like great sword, um, I think switch axe, charge blade. Yeah, hammer then uh, it weakens the the part after one go mm -hmm. so it, it just makes it so it takes more more damage and has gives you more affinity when you attack it so if I clutch claw when to you... its tail and then and then the, attack like, it the with the uh, yeah with the Y attack then you weaken the tail if you use something like a sword and shield or dual blades something that's considered a light weapon. Mm -hmm. The first time you do it, it carves out uh, slinger ammo. And oh. the second time you do it, it weakens it. And the other thing that you can do is if you're on its head, if you hit B instead of Y, you'll punch him in the side of the head and it'll turn him. Mm -hmm. And if it'll you turn press... the opposite way that you're on? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And if you press R... Your, your right trigger that you would use to fire like slinger ammo oh, it'll throw all of your slinger ammo at it and uh, and if it is not uh, if it is not enraged it will uh, throw them in a direction and if they hit a wall it knocks them out I'm Oh wait, I can a zombie now. You can still clutch class a zombie. Oh, you can? Yeah. Oh, here I go. Hell yeah. And every... Just about every weapon now has a... Uh, has a... Clutch claw mechanic to it. Nice. Um, yeah. Both great swords and uh, sword and sword and shield is really good now. Um, oh jeez. Oh. A lot of fucking damage. I take. Yeah, I should probably get some red herb. Uh, where's that red herb? At? Does where's green herb at? actually heal you too? A little bit. There it is. The other thing that's new, these are a lot of things that we haven't, like, we didn't really ever talk to you about, I think. We just kind of ran you through it. And you saw them happening, yeah. but you probably didn't know what they were. Uh, yeah, on my back here. Oh, fuck, that's... I closed the death here. Give me this. Pretty dead herb. Oh, work. Is that fireworks? What is your thing doing? Oh yeah, it's fireworks. Um... Oh! Hello, Val. What the fuck? I was blocking. So, so the other thing that you've seen uh, is 
It's called um, Clagger, or people have called it Clagger. Mm -hmm. uh, it's when you're beating the shit out of a monster and they just like, they stop and stand there for a second and drool. Yeah. So, what's happening is, uh, it's a new mechanic where they're waiting for you to clutch claw them, basically. Oh, I've, I've so they, seen them drooling before. They do, but, but not like, like this. This is this is a different kind of drool. It happens <laughs> after like a damage threshold. Uh, usually, they kind of turn to the side and drool a little bit, and it always happens after after you hit them. Um, so the thing with it is they recover very quickly, but it's designed to encourage you to clutch claw. So basically, when they're claggered and they're drooling like that, even if you just clutch claw them, and uh, even if you just clutch claw them and then hop off and don't do any damage, they oh, I think they were doing it right there. Yeah, that was probably it. Um, Shit. So even if you clutch claw and then hop off, you still it it keeps them in that state for longer. Hmm. So the idea is they're trying to encourage people to use it by uh, by giving you opportunities to do it. And so even if you don't weaken or turn them and run them into a wall, you can still you can still buy yourself some time by clutch clawing on and hopping off. Okay. Thank you, Val. So this is part of the move that killed you last time. <laughs> oh. You see how he just leaves those clouds? Yeah. You're immune to the effluvium once you have it, right? There we go. Got his tail, I think. Yes, you did. Yeah, you are. Oh, However, God. you were not. Got me. But he is very, very close to dying. Oh my god! He laser beamed me through the wall. Yeah, that's okay. classic Val. Um. Nice. So he's got to be, he's got to be under 10% health right now. Right. Um, because nice. he's dropped three, three slinger pods. Okay, let me just grab some green herbs because I don't have any more. Oh, I can't even tell my cat to do anything. That's funny. Oh. Oh, cool. Oh, it's 
Oops, and he gets all around him. I forget his move set. He needs to be up in skulls. the air. Oh, right, he's an Elder Dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can still run him into a wall right now if you, if you clutch his head. Oh, he's enraged right now. Never mind. He just he just got pissed. Okay. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. But that was a very oh. poor choice on his part. Very poor his tail either. So back where he was? Or here it is, actually. Oh, he's not turning. I'm a coming! Oh, good. You like that music too? Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so I think the other thing that we could do for you is um, there's really a couple things you could do. They've I think they did a really good job in Iceborne in not throwing too much at you at in-game. Mm -hmm. But you do have a lot of different things you can do and uh, in order to get to those next pieces. So, um, so one of the things you can do is uh, optionals to get you the mantle pluses. Um, which basically, yes. your mantles now have uh, decoration slots on them. Yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's really really good. Uh, also, I'm see I remember seeing somebody like just wearing like a, a scarf or a cape, and it doesn't look like a mantle, but it could be. Uh, I think it was like a red scarf. No, I don't know what that was. Like in a YouTube video? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was like a some video I saw. I didn't even get to chance to see what that fucking was. Ah, uh, there's a layered armor from the last oh, event. Yeah, there's a layered armor from the last event that kind of has something like that. I don't know if that's okay. the one they're talking about, though. Or see. The scarf is a headpiece from an optional, is what uh, Ron says. The sealed dragon cloth? Yeah, it's not layered though. I don't think. I didn't. I didn't know if it was layered or not. I was just wondering if it is. If it's any good. Hey, you. It has one point of resentment and two level four slots on it. So it's it's got Ooh. slots. Is kind of what they're doing. They're giving you options to play around with it. Uh. Uh, wings of the wind. Is that the one? Wings of the Wind. I'm just looking at the optionals and master difficulty. Is it in the? Is it a one star? I wonder. Oh no no no! Those are. Other ones. It's an that's, event. That would be an event. That's not going to be an optional. Okay. The optionals are going to be. For the. For the um, mantles. So, let's see. Ice catch. It'll tell you in the description. Um, if you look for the ones that have like the, the quote box, yeah, the little quote bubble next to them, it'll tell you what it gives you, and all of the, all the mantle ones will will tell you, what mantle it is. 
those are the optionals, right? Yeah, that's under optional. Okay. And do I need to talk to people to get all of those? Because those are like... Probably. So like, they'll after you do them, they'll pop up for you to do the next set. So it's kind of like a quest line. But you can go yeah, see if you have if any exclamations. Because I haven't talked... There's a lot of exclamation points I haven't hit in the, the new area. Yeah, all right. Yeah, do that. It'll you know, you'll unlock a bunch of quests then. I'll be right back super quick when you do that. Got to get my dog some dinner. Oh, hello there. me the honor. Make sure my face is well centered and prominent enough. Yep, your face is well centered and prominent. <laughs> this needs to be more so. <laughs> In. Oh. This needs to be real close. My dearest thanks. Hey. Get up work early again? Find uh, so ton of quests. Well, I found a dude that told me how like how to use a camera. Oh yeah, <laughs> there's they they got Pokemon Snap in this shit now. Okay. Oh god, there's so much. Everyone ready? Go get him. Okay. What's up, you? Hey, that that reminds me. Hello there. Sure, yeah. Hello there. This dude just giving me like three different quests. Come on. <laughs> we done with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, next. You. <laughs> No, Monster Field Guide updated for everybody. Oh god, he's back. I just walked away from this dude. You Hell didn't have man. an exclamation point before. <laughs> hey, wait, come back! Okay. Maybe he's retroactively, like, completed quests or something. Raccoon City Zombify. I got a new jester. Hey! And Zombie yeah. Bite. Jester. Yeah, alright! <laughs> cool. Um, and the layered armor, I'm assuming, comes from. by forging it, right? Yeah, you gotta. You it, to go yeah. To the... it, yeah. Capture a T-Rex. Sounds fun. Or, wait, sorry, it's not actually layered armor, it's actually just armor. <laughs> My bad. Oh, okay. It's like Geralt of Reveria and Ciri <laughs> of not Reveria. <laughs> the Witcher. Which I don't have those either. The Witcher. 
Yeah, next time. Oh my God, this housekeeper has a million quests. <laughs> Delivery requests. Okay, finally done talking. Jeez. I guess I hadn't been talking to any of these people the entire time, but there's just so many. Yep. Just so there many. is. I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> Um, so yeah, if you're gonna if you're gonna be running charge blade, mm -hmm. you probably want a couple of pieces. Good news, of, uh, hey, Let me see guys. what I mind just said. I believe in you. <sighs> so for most melee, um, Yi and Garuga, and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, see you. Well, thanks oh, in advance. Tigrex or Brute Tigrex. Hold on. So, uh, most of the most of the metas for like melee builds are one part Ian Gruga oh, and oh, that the Teostra set bonus. Okay. Oh, that reminds me. And then yeah, just kind of like. I think most of them have. Oh, that reminds me. Take care out there. Uh, Brute Tigrex, so you can't get that one. Oh, that reminds yet. me. Get it done for me, will ya? But there's still. Oh, that reminds me. Take care out there. Options to kind of roll with. Oh, that the fuck reminds me. This bitch. Get it done for Do me, it will all ya? in one go. Oh, that reminds me. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. 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 Take this care This is like the seventh there. time. <laughs> okay, you done? Armor that will help you complete the story. The Defender Armor is, uh, is equipment specially designed for by the Defense Corps. Oh shit. Oh, wow. Yeah, but that's, that's only for like low and high rank. <laughs> it's gonna do you no good now. Oh. oh. The other that thing is, known? um,. The Zora Magdras armor for Charge Blade because it has artillery on it. It kind of mm -hmm. lets you work around slots a little more. Is there anybody in the. Um... Oh, right, I need to talk to Plant Guy. Shit. Buenas tardes. Buenos tardes. Shit. Nope. Mm. Okay, let me see if we can make that armor. Wow, the astral set looks crazy. Huh. Oh yeah, do yeah, it, yeah. But it is crazy looking. There's a layered armor version of that. I don't know if you can get it still. Um, I think I saw somebody wearing it. And I was I was curious about it. Wow. Crazy looking armor here. Ninja! Oh wow. Wait, 
Alright, Kirin. I guess modest Kirin in this one. <laughs> yeah, funny how they actually made the armors. They look really good in Master Rank. Yeah. Like all the all of the Master Rank armors, I'm a fan of. There's some. There's, have you checked out the Sharish Vala one yet? This shit is crazy. The. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like. Like like impress stuff. Yeah. You know, funny enough, Shara is. It would be interesting to make a Shara build for quality of life. Mm -hmm. Because that set bonus combined with the mantle usage. You can you can basically guarantee yourself 100% mantle all the time. Which, using the set bonus, would give you max tremor resistance, max earplugs, max windproof, and flinch free. Oh, wow. But the. Let's see. Sorry. Death Karen, what the fuck? Like some Yojimbo thing. Some <laughs> yeah. animal ears coming out of it. Weird. Yeah, so I kind of let you. Set. Yeah. The what? The Doggerin, uh, and the Death Garen. Oh yeah. Garen. The beta version of those. Looks crazy. Shrieking Lady Yano looks nice too. Similar to. Oh my god, Diablos is just chunky. Still looks better than the old Diablos. <laughs> Very off isn't bad. Clockwork. It's like steampunk <laughs> shoulder. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. What the hell? What parts do you need for that? Steamwork. Just random tickets. shit? Go figure. Oh. Yeah, I got a couple of those. Wow, that's crazy. You get a lot more. Oh, I have what? 400 steam tickets. Just FYI. <laughs> Arshian, what the fuck is that? It's a goddamn like spaceship thing. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a like a Samus suit almost. The craziness. Yeah, so the ancient fragments come from your trail riders. Oh. So yeah, I kind of let you figure out what what you want to do tonight. Like, uh, get an armor set going, get some mantles upgraded, um, run around say... the uh, guidelines, do events. If I could get some upgraded mantles, so I can put decorations on the mantles, that'd be nice. Yeah, yeah. Well, so the the only catch with the mantle decorations is those decos are only active when the mantle's on. Ooh, gotcha. Which, funny thing, has basically made the glider mantle like your top tier mantle because uh, its cooldown is so fast that if you put on any other mantle, by the time that mantle comes off, the glider mantle will be ready again. Oh. I don't have a glider mantle, by the way. You don't have a glider. <laughs> no, I don't have a glider mantle. What I haven't played fuck? this fucking DLC. I beat, no, I beat glider mantle is from the original. I haven't played it. Is it? 
Yeah. You don't get any new mantles. They just upgraded old mantle. I didn't. I never got it from the original. Then, is it like a high, in high rank? It probably <laughs> high rank or low rank optionals. What kind of? What do you have for those? Let's see here. Um, for high rank, low rank, optionals. Um, I have from two all the way to seven. I have every single one completed, but eight. I'm missing Infernal Monarchy, and the nine I'm missing uh, Behemoth. Right. But I have a few level, or I have level one, learning the clutch. Yeah, so I'm missing like, three I mean... missions from the optionals. Unless I need to go and talk to Exclamation Point in the other map. Oh, Frenestera. Let me find it real quick. It's possible. I'm gonna start talking to people over there. God damn it! I didn't realize it was in the original thing. I don't remember anybody ever fucking using it. Yeah, nobody used it. Unlocks a specialized tool. Well, maybe I they won't tell you what it is. They just say specialized tool. Um. You're so close to getting the rainbow pigment. It's not even funny. I do have the rainbow pigment. I'm sure. If you have the rainbow um, pigment, you've done every quest in the original game. Change armor pigment. Change to rainbow. Yeah, I have a yeah, I have rainbow, and it cycles through them. Okay. So do I have it? And I didn't realize it. Give me a sec. Yeah, go go look in your thing. Um, let's see. If you have not done the Assassin's Creed one. Oh, I do have glider mantle. Whoops. I never use it. I was like, oh, it's, a, it's from the DLC. I do have it. So you should have 19 pieces of equipment that you can use. Unless you've done the Assassin's Creed one and then you can, you'll can you have 20. I have 19. I okay. do not have the Assassin's Creed one. Okay. We can get you that. It's a high rank. It's interesting because it's um, it's really good for gathering builds. Because it increases your movement speed. And it lasts for fucking ever. Is it an optional or is it an event? It's an event. What's it called? Uh, it starts with SDF. Silent, Deadly, Fierce. Yeah, that's going to be the one. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. Why did I take a quest here? I can still see it. Doesn't matter. Okay. Alright. Odo... Pickle and Luna. Assassin's Creed on. Yeah, yeah. It's a fun mantle. It also, if you attack it, if you attack a monster before it's aware of you with that thing, you do more damage to it. Uh, I've never used it practically. It's um, it... it isn't like foolproof like the ghillie, right? Nope. It actually encourages monsters to attack you. <laughs> oh. Oh wait, is there, oh there's this here. So, love. who's who's out here? You know, Pickle? Okay, so check this out. I shot a uh, slinger. Oh, the fire? Now he's distracted. Slinger? And I missed him. Oh, I fucked it up.
Oh my god. They do so little damage now. This is gonna get me killed, probably. Because, uh... I'm not gonna respect them. <laughs> Oh, oh, it is out. Uh oh. Okay, well I'll just shoot the shit out of it then. Yeah, I'm on his tail! He's paralyzed all on him. Okay. Get the step! Okay, here comes the empty elemental discharge. Done. Oh, he's dead. Nice. So right that's that's, that's a clagger right there. Are. So you see uh, the difference yeah. in it? So yeah, if you clutch calm at any point really during that, they will wait for you to finish until they start moving again. Um, okay. So so it's totally safe for you to, to claw on them. As long as you hit their face, like, uh, yeah, 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 jump over here. Yeah, there it is again. And he's dead. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta get those high rank parts, man. Oh yeah. Well, you never know. You never know. <laughs> a single high rank part. I mean, there are people who do it for uh, for the skill sets. Like um, <clears throat> some of the meta builds even have have uh, one piece of high rank to to cap off a set. He's two gyms. Let's keep my sword charged. Well, one minute until the dragon enters this is also one minute until a, a monster shows up. Go. Do 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 do. There she there is. is. Oh. Oh wait. Oh. So the other nice thing about the uh, the temporal mantle, like I say, the other thing they they did nerf it pretty hard. But one of the nice things it about it is when you clutch Qualm with it on, it doesn't uh, it doesn't um, like they can't knock you off basically.
Wait a sec. That's not the KO. Dinner. There's that KO. Oh, I'm burning alive. No! I was like, why am I taking damage? Like, oh, there's fire there. Oh, Dragonator's up. Where's my Dragonator? Yeah, fine. Ooh, that was <laughs> tough. Wow. High rank? More like uh die rank. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> so is your like <laughs> Palico like just a like a UFO with a wiggler head? That's exactly what it is. <laughs> <laughs> you got a problem with that? And he puts down, uh, and he puts down volcanoes. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like he stands under a monster and it does that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I started using the Mialatov cocktail with it a lot. All the Palico tools now can go up to level 15, which is really nice. Oh. I can't remember what I have on mine. I never really did anything with it. Um, either Vigor Wasp or Coral Orchestra. Those are really good ones. Um, I might have like the Bandit one or some shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You could do that too. Pull the blade. Sinews. Yeah, I think that's one of those. A lot of decorations. Um, Meowster, Wind Resist, Intimidator, Elementless, Flight. <laughs> yeah, plus level ability. ten. <laughs> uh, later, Calix. Uh, so I should have the. Thing now? Um, so. you have to. It's probably like a deliverable, or yeah. yeah, it's probably like a delivery thing. Oh yes. Welcome, hunter. Welcome. Welcome. Good day. What are you buying? Yeah, it's More a deliverable. Deliveries? Do you need? Did you get two? Oh, I don't know. Um, what? Where? What was the? Thing you need to collect. Silent Hunter, Swift as the Wind? No. Sinew Feather. Um. It's not good for something else. You looking under the, the deliverables? Deliveries? I'm looking at the deliveries I was able to get. Um, an item box and a typewriter for turning in the stars badges. Oh, oh yeah, um, yeah, I yeah. I guess that's stuff you can put inside your house. Yeah. Um, all the all pending. The, this, I might be at the wrong delivery place. This might be part of the problem. I don't think. Uh... They, I thought they would cross over. They, they should, because this is a high rank one. So look under pending, I guess. Pending uh, are going to be the ones yeah. that you have something for. See you. <clears throat> the delivery pending. Let's see, creepy canvas, snowy spectacle, silent hunter, swift as a wind, magnificent Magdaros, the house of grand appreciation, full of hot air, one through four. Then I have technician's temperament, setting up camp, poor first reach, one and two. Happy little trees, desert but not deserted, refreshing colors where elders play, the house of holiday joy, and lighting up the place. The heck? Did you not get any 
of the feathers. I must That'd be not weird. Have... Well, let me check my. I can search in the box, right? Mm, I don't know if you can search. We'll be near the end, I guess. Um... Decorations and monster parts. Uh, Sanu's feather. Yeah, I have one. Dude, why didn't it show up then? You sure you don't have the Assassin's Creed mantle already? Uh, I don't think so. I didn't. I've never done that mission before. I don't, or if I did, it I would, don't remember doing it. It would be. Here we go again. It's a. It's a white one. White mail. Looks like a hood. No. I have 16 mantles and three boosters. Yeah. Yeah. So, you, it is the Assassin's Hood you're missing. <laughs> That's yeah. weird that it's not showing up on the deliver. I mean, I guess go somewhere else and see. Yeah, I guess if I'm you have Celiana, see if it's if it makes a difference. But you said you had how many feathers? Two? One? Just the one. Okay, we need to do it one more time anyway. <laughs> Maybe that's why it's not showing up immediately for you, because you need two of them. Huh. But it's showing other ones I don't have enough stuff for. Yeah, I have no idea. Is there idea. somebody I need to take the mission from? Nope. In Astera? Nope, it's not. It's not a mission, it's just a deliverable. Pretty sure it's not a mission, because it's an event. Oh, yeah, I guess we'll try just doing it again so I can get one more. Why not? Yeah, it just says do the event, get feathers, and then trade it in at the resource center. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the resource center here? Is it over here? No, it's, it's uh, over here. Okay. With them. I'm gonna just click on them and see Good if they have it in theirs. Good morning to you. Yeah, it's just, it's just not there. I, yeah, it doesn't have the question mark item, and I would I know what to look for now. Quest again. Person. Hey you. Hey you. <laughs> Publass totally watches asleep. <laughs> it's... She's a. Uh, she's definitely like stalker level creepy. Hey you. I noticed that you only nudged a couple of times while you were sleeping and I'm wondering <laughs> if you're okay. Gonna bring an affinity booster. Yeah, might as well. It's easy to speed it up. Yeah. So, uh, since you haven't played too much, that is one of the things they changed is um, uh, how tenderize works. They basically lowered the affinity you get when hitting a critical spot, unless it's weakened. Oh. So it's like thirty-five percent. Uh, when hitting a critical spot, and then it's, 
Oh, Odo was just like here already, I guess. Oh, okay. There, now I won't fuck it up. Go over there. There you go. Thanks, Devil Joe. Clagger. Go away, Odo. Out. Spit it out! That's what he does. Until you clagger him, I guess. Oh, and J Hook's dead. Get out of here, man! Stupid doggo. Time to carve. Just for fun. Get them parts. <laughs> yep. Old V man, you get all the points. Materials. Oh yeah, so that's the other thing. Ron might have told you already, but the um, when you do guiding lands, make sure that you have uh, geology on all your sets. Just one piece of it. Is It'll... that? Um... So it gives you more things to pick up, basically. Because Guiding Lands works very different than normal Monster Hunter. Mm -hmm. Like, monsters drop a lot of things, and, uh, and you want to make... Okay, hold on. Let me just do this real quick. Um, <laughs> Oops. So yeah, monsters drop a lot of shit on the ground, and geology allows you to pick up uh, more. So it's like just better. Oh, my health is dropping. Does it have like a... Is it just hot near it or something? No, yeah, hot. I was... I was standing in fire. My body is also on fire. Yeah, it's just me being near it is also hurting me.
So you see how long it's it stayed claggered? Oh, She'd be moving right now if I didn't clutch claw. So it's really, really nice. <laughs> So I'm assuming that the agger is like from staggered. What was the claw? The claw? Clutch claw? Yeah, stagger? clutch claw. It's okay. that's all it is. Is clutch claw stag? That's just some stupid name somebody came up with for it. Okay. Clagger. You'll hear it used if you watch like videos and shit. Oh yeah, that thing. Yeah. Shoot the move. <laughs> Ah, be right back super quick. Okay. Hopefully I can get my frickin' mantle. <laughs> Have a sausage. Sausage? Yeah, one more. Okay, I'm gonna hold and get the Assassin's Creed this time around. Uh, not you. Good morning to you. Little dragon, okay. Little breeze. Huh. It's just not here. Double check that I have two. Pretty sure I do. Which items? I don't know. Sell items. Alright. I have two sinews feathers. Uh huh. Total. Yep. Um, I still don't and... see the delivery. Welcome it's called, like, specialty... I'll tell you exactly what it is, but it's, like, specialized tool. Is the name of it. Register a bounty? Oh, no. Investigations? No. no. Deliveries. Um... It's not the pending. I feel like I have to get it from somebody. At this point. Complete deliveries. Uh... Specialized tool, Assassin's Hood. Somebody in, maybe somebody in the Astera gives you the quest. I mean, I have Stitch. the parts already, but it's 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 not in that list of the pending where I can turn stuff in. It's weird. I, I mean, there are exclamation points sitting around that I haven't gotten yet, so maybe one of those gives it to me. Hey. Found under. Hello. I'm counting on you. Like, the lady in the armory tells me about it. 
What the fuck? Yeah, like I went up to her. She was one of the exclamation points. Why the... In, in the original <laughs> armory it. area. Okay. All right, well, so now that solves that problem. The... Wait, did I complete it by talking to her? No, it's actually a delivery. That's why I'm so confused, because all the, the other deliveries just kind of show up. Once you have pieces, right? Um, may, unless it's a specific quest they send you out on. But it's an uh, event. Please deliver that's, that's the part that's I can't... I'm having yeah, problems rec reconciling that. Like, why would they give you a quest for an event that's temporary in nature? Yeah. Um, so I should... Yeah, I have it now. Assassin's Oh, hood. there you go. Increases movement speed, allows you to hide quicker, deals big damage to a monster caught unaware that the effect ends. Recharge time is three fucking minutes? Jesus. This is very situational, it seems. Yeah. But three minutes is very fast for recharge. Really? Yeah. All the other ones are like five minutes. Yeah, 360, 300. Temporal is 300, yeah. Damn. Glider is 120, yeah, 120, that's two minutes. Okay. Yeah. But it's only usable against a monster that you don't see yet, or that doesn't see you yet. Yeah, but once it sees you, if, it, if you're, like, engaged with it, then the mantle stays on. Okay. Until, but you can like hide, get lost again, and then I have no idea. I've later. never used it because, I mean, I've never used it other than to gather because it just increases your movement speed. That's the best use I have for it. <laughs> mm -hmm. The commander gave me like a warning jewel. Splendid job. Okay. I think that's all the, the ones here. So I'm going back to Celiana. Actually, surprised that I didn't have that many uh, exclamation points to search through. It was just two. You are now John Creed, Johnny Assassin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. So power up, powering up the glider mantle would be nice. Do you have and that? Coral mantle would also be nice. Uh, do I? Hey you. Is it would it be the optional? Temporal mantle is going to be at MR 150, I think. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, it's an optional, right? Yeah, I don't remember where it comes in the the line of them because I think it's like a series of quests. Is it a one star or is it like a? Uh, are they all around star. the same star? Three stars called Red and Black Aces. Red and Black Aces, yes. I have that one. Okay. Oh, Rathalos and... The Kug. Narga Kug. Okay. Wrath sure. and the Kug. And after we finish this, I'm going to suggest doing 50 Shades of White one time to, to get you... Basically, so that you can take a look at the uh, the weapons to see if there's anything interesting there that you that you want to pursue. Okay, just to like sort of have them unlocked to see them. Yeah, yeah, because the that's an event that's going to be. I mean, all these events are going to be around for one week, and uh, so if there's anything in there that that you want, then best to do them while you can. Uh, yeah, basically what this event has, the stuff that I've missed since launch, like the Resident Evil thing, um, because at this point I only have the one Stars Medal, uh, It dropped you right into the fire! Look sharp, partner! Oh. What's up, Rathados? Yeah, they dropped me right 
at the Rathalos. They're, uh, slinger ammo, slinger ammo, slinger ammo. No, and they got stabbed ammo. by a fucking Vespoid. Running. Okay. Did it drop you off here too? Yep. Oh. That saves us time. Go mountain! <laughs> Going through ammo real quick. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> he broke the dam. He did. Did you fall? Nope. Almost though. So, uh, those are not nearly as useful as they used to be, which sucks. Uh, yeah, heard. That KO. Asshole. <laughs> oh, is he paralyzed? Nice. Oh yeah, I, uh, my cat has a paralyzed weapon. Stunned me. Oh. Doesn't matter, he can't do anything to me. He can't beat me. Because I mounted him. <laughs> I'm like, you're getting blasted though. Poison, go away, please. <laughs> He's having a bad time. Clank, clank. <laughs> Here we go. Knock me up. Oops. Bless you. Get me out of here! What the fuck? Where are you going? Okay, there's a lot. <laughs> He's like, fuck this man, I'm out! Ah. I'm a coming. 
I don't like it in this area, actually. You don't like this area? I don't like it because it like there's you could fall down and then all of a sudden it has to fly after you and then. Uh oh. That's right. Could you knock it off, man? Knock it off! Oh, speaking of which. He's, uh, he's going to sleep. Sleep? I think so. Am I wrong about that? Nope. I thought he was, like, falling asleep like you put him to sleep. No. Um... Wait. Wait. I think I can run him into the wall, but I don't know for sure. Let me try it, though. Oh, uh, no. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> and he's standing on a volcano. Yeah, and then I get on his face. Whoa. And then I faint. Uh, I thought he wouldn't... He would stay there as long as somebody was on his face. I well, he was, and then I got off his face. Well, I, was, I got on there right before you hopped off. Oh no no no! It's not like that. It's one time. Oh. So from the first time you clutch onto him, yeah, you can't gotcha. cheese it. Misunderstood. I thought you could like all sort of like keep it up. Oh no! It's just from the first time, unfortunately. What's this. That was a miscalculation on my part. I was like, yeah, I'll just do this while I have zero health, but he's going to stay there. <laughs> it just throws me off to my death. <laughs> well, he's dead. Okay. Almost back. Now Norg. Norg. What did I get? Ruby. Hey. Wait. It's not that rare, is it? What, rubies? Rathalos Ruby? I feel like I've seen yeah. those in high rank. Uh. Maybe. Some of. They do drop some of the same stuff. Which kind of sucks. Yeah, I feel like a, a rare and high rank. Or. What's it called? It's not high rank. It's not master rank, is it? Is it master rank? I, I don't know. <laughs> it's not G rank. I, yeah, it is master rank. Okay. Oh, yeah, it is It is master rank. I don't know if the item is master rank, though. Coog, where are you at, Coog? Where's the Coog? He's not down there. I guess I haven't researched him enough to know where he spawns. Well, I know where he generally spawns, but uh, I guess I haven't researched him enough to see him on my map. Watch out. Fulgur and Janeth, the prince, though. Oops. 
Some four four four. Four. No. Yeah. Four hands and half. Prince. Oh, there we go. Nar Cube. He is down by the wait. I'm just gonna pin him and let the raider find him. He's going uh down here. I think. You know where Kushala hangs out? I'm right behind you. Oh, okay. Oh, Angie now. What's up, Angie? Keep going, please. Bitch. Who are you people? <laughs> well, I don't understand. I'm just minding my own business. Sometimes we have to teach you this lesson, old man. This is such a shitty spot to fight him in. I wish he'd move. I hope he moves soon. There he goes. Uh, seems like he's moving. Just long enough to get lit on fire by a fucking one. Yeah. Oops. Well, I mean, we put a lot of damage into him. That's fun. Ah! Come on, bro. What you doing? I'm on him. Yeah. Oh, oh shit! Oh, I can't okay. Hit him. I'm sorry. I'm used to playing with with. I'm used to having like more uh, a higher threshold from like more people playing. <laughs> right. I forgot how easy it is with one or two. Should be able to get another KO though. I mean another. There we go. Mounted him. He's done at least. Yeah. Ow! As soon as I say that. Fucking <laughs> blade away! Stabby, 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 stabby. Oh, nice. He's coming down. One, two, three. Oh. Whoops. Yeah, gotta watch that upswing. That's not it's something like that we can. That... Yeah, it's not it's something it's like we can itemize. Mash B. It's, um, mash B what you wanna do is like hit B ultimate. twice and then Y. Oh, yeah. So you get the you get the two Bs and not the. Ow, asshole! Oh, is my cat Meowlatov ready? Beating the crap out of him, though. Yeah. I'm looking at these for Prince one. And 
kill. Take that and that and that. How about a volcano, huh? You like volcanoes? <laughs> Squirrely right now. I don't like it. Yeah, he's when he's uh, when he's in rage, he's kind of annoying. Just sit in this tree and sharpen. It makes him angry. What are you gonna do? Break the tree? Oh, I don't know. What are you gonna do? Break the fucking tree? You coward! You there wouldn't do it. No, you you can't do it. You're incapable. Whoops! Come on, do it! Kill me! What you doing? Uh oh, something like that. Yeah, yeah, like that. Although I think he actually just might. Oh, never mind. That was a clagger. He just missed twice in a row there, bud. And he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> right. That wasn't so bad. No. I feel like I got lucky. <laughs> a couple of those things. Narga Cougar and Barioth are two of my more difficult fights. They're just kind of squirrely, but... Mm -hmm. I really... Hammer has been really good for me. Because it sort of taught me to look for openings. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Is that a hammer? It looks like an axe. Yeah, it's a hammer. Yeah, this is the Guild Palace hammer. All of the Guild Palace items look really great. They, they're all they're all top notch. And some of them are top tier. Like the the lance is the best raw lance you can get. This hammer is better under certain builds. That lever is like peak performance because uh, you got deco slots to work with and right. Your specialized tool Most is upgraded them. to the Glider Miner Plus! Hey. Hell yeah. What's so that thing, thing can hang... like to put on Glider Plus? So it's got two level fours. It's really up to whatever mm. you want to do with it. That's the other reason why it's so good, is because it has two level four slots, which is insane. Um, I like to put uh, a level four that has maintenance and something else on it. Because maintenance will lower the... Uh, cooldown of my other mantle. Two slots of that will, I think, 20% less. Ooh. And then, obviously, then you just get... I think the one I like is, um, is, uh, Agitator. Uh-huh. So the other thing you can do now is you can trigger Agitator on the monsters. So they can, you know that smack on the side of the head that turns them? Mm -hmm. Uh, whenever you're Clutch Clawed? Yeah. If you do that three times, they become enraged. Oh, you want so, to do that? Does that yeah, like, make them get tired easier? No, Agitator just gives you boost to affinity and attack. <laughs> okay. So you do it so that your Agitator triggers. Gotcha. Um, uh, what's the heavy art? No, hard Intimidator. No. What's the one that's uh, that makes stuff recharge faster again? Maintenance. Maintenance. Don't know if I have a four slot for that. You can sort now. Nice if I did. New decos. Uh, we'll do that. If you don't, you. Um, I mean, you might not because you haven't done a lot of deco farming, and you haven't really played a lot of Iceborne yet. You'll no, get I them haven't. though. They're they're pretty common. By slot level. Expert, I have something, but uh, defense, no. 
Cyrus. Potential Fusion Guardian Expert Fortitude Physique Fortitude Evasion Crisis Evasion Jumping Evasion Guardian Evasion Earplug <laughs> Well I mean you can sort by you can search by skill Oh in your deck um, skills. If you if you Yeah There's, uh It's gonna tell you tool specialist. That's I I hate that they change it like that, but um, oh, and the name also, of the gym is when not you're the same. Sorting as by the name. skill, and I'm going through all of these. These are not in alphabetical either. So no, tool specialist is on the last page, page six. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, there was no way. Okay. So they try to group them, this jewels. but yeah. Yeah, it'd be nice if I had a four slot with the maintenance on it. You don't have any? I have just the one slot. Okay. So you will end up getting some of them. Like, I even have, like, a, a charger maintenance, so it's got, like, focus and tool specialist. Oh, that's nice. Agitated tool specialist is one I really like. Maximum might, windproof trimmer resistance. That's a really fun one. Um, <laughs> brace, tenderizer. And keep in mind, I haven't done deco farming either. These are just through the course of kind of playing the game that I've ended up with these, so... Right. There's a there's a pretty solid chance you'll just kind of stumble upon them, too. Until that happens, just kind of, you know, throw whatever you want on there. Yeah, I might. Elder Seal, how, does, how much does that even matter? It just bumps up your uh, your Elder Seal by one, I think. Like, it'll bring low to weapon. medium and medium to high. Hmm. But it doesn't affect weapons that don't have Dragon Element. Um, and Elder Seal itself, I haven't personally seen the benefit of it. It seems very, very niche. Plus, all of the Elder Dragons drop Dragon Pops. Okay. I think I might put on... Handicraft would be nice. Let's make the sharpness go up a little bit more. I don't think I have that though. Did you do your st your uh, Steamworks today? I did right before I started the stream. Do you um have you redeemed any of your, your things yet at the Melder? No. You can go give that a shot. Um. Silver tickets will give you rare. I mean, I'm talking like like really, really rare. They'll give you really rare um, vanilla decorations that are things like the release decoration, the handicraft, capacity up, attack, and Focus. Um, artillery, all that good stuff. Sheath. Yeah, artillery would be really fucking nice. Um, so you just turn it into the dude that's Boy. tech chief. Is that what his name is? I don't remember his name. <laughs> yeah, whoever the Melder works. is. No, oh, no, no, no. You turned it into gotcha, the, gotcha. the Melder. Right, she actually makes... There's the, a purpose to her now. Like, I remember in 4U, you could just make whatever fucking thing you had if you had the materials. Mm -hmm. Dude, is it I still, really... like, random, though? Uh, no. You can... You, you pick what you want, other than the ritual... Which is random. 
That's all of the decorations the are random. About? So what's, what about the, um, what am I trading in? Go to Guild Alchemy on it. Uh, gold melding ticket and silver melding ticket. Yeah, so gold and silver are the two that have the most of what you want. Steel is like low tier from vanilla. Oh, I, I make a gold melding ticket out of VIP gravi gratitude tickets. Oh, no, no, no. You no, go to the no. go to guild alchemy and use your tickets. Um, there we go. And I have six gold melding tickets. Just so you're going to get... Yeah, you're going to get four level four decos, basically. Okay. Should I not use mine, too? I, I got seven. Crazy. Well, I got six. All all six of them are four, level fours. Mm-hmm. Okay. Decoration, uh, Fuhrer and Protection, Drain and Expert. It's not bad, critical life. Enhancer, protection, draw, protection, crit draw. Oh, shit. Okay. Potential maintenance. Hey, maintenance. There you go. Potential with heroics. And then draw That's maintenance. When you're... Crit draw and maintenance? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Crit draw is like my my jam with the greatsword. Hell yeah, man. Greatsword has changed just... a lot, though. Um, you should just make one and kind of play around with it. It's. I just uh, it's I know great. the cartwheel is like the new meta. Speed to wing. Yeah. Drain release. Free element ammo up. Huh. You got release. Yeah. So you got a release deco, yeah, from the silver. Yeah. So that shit. Keep in mind, I played this game for... What am I at now? Probably like... Oh. 300 hours or something? Yeah. 320 hours in this game. Or is that you? I don't know. What I'm at in this game... Plugs again. Capacity speed sharpening, yeah. Piercing shots, weakness exploit, resentment, blast attack. Have to take them, sell them. Just sell them. No. <laughs> Just steal out of me. Might as well use Okay, the you're at 300. I'm at 560 <laughs> hours. <laughs> okay. So keep in mind how long I played. I didn't see a single gym until I until I started using the silver melder, and now I have like oh seven of them. Quick sheet. <laughs> so. Hey, I just used a bunch of steel ones. I got a quick sheet. That's a good one. Stun resistance, recovery up, fire attack, item prolonger, defense, bombardier, stamina yeah. thief. So basically, uh, from now until the event ends, definitely do the steamworks as much as you can for. The for the uh, the silver tickets at least, right? Because I think their goal was to give people an accessible way to get the decos they just couldn't get, so that they can start building, you know, builds. <laughs> right. Like I, already, I'm gonna replace something on that uh, glider mantle, just so I can have uh, maintenance and cooldown. Uh... <clears throat> Yeah, and the the dragon coal that you need to power the steamworks, guiding lands is the way to go to farm that stuff. You just run around and mine, and you actually probably want to do that anyway, because for charge blade, the best thing that I found to do is to build to use two pieces of um, Zora Magdaros gear to basically get three pieces of artillery. Uh, and you get that using the materials from Guiding Lands uh, mining. How do you activate heroics again? Uh, I don't know. 
I've never used it. <laughs> While active, increases defense by 50 points. I mean, that sounds good. Oh, increases attack power and defense when health drops below 35% or lower. I mean, that's not bad to have. I suppose. I think the scary part with it is implying that you're going to stay below 35% health to use yeah, it. Yeah, it might be nice just to have whenever I get, like, stun locked, though, maybe? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. That's the only thing I'm thinking about. Um, yeah. And after that... Uh, increases attack power by 5% if it goes up another level. Then 10 to 15, 100 points for defense. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now what's another thing we can do? Hey, There's a lot. Yeah. Let's do the... Like I said, let's do one of the guild palettes. One so you can take a look at those weapons and see if there's anything that interests you. The event. Um, it's a 50, 50, shades, 50 of shades of white. Yeah. And we'll SOS this one. Um, okay. Like, it would be fine with this, but just no reason not to. People will join on it. Yeah. There we go. Bah, bah. I do miss the old armor itemization of uh, 4U and, and GU and all that good stuff. Crit draw is useless. You can hit 100% for affinity. Easy as fuck. Well, not right now. Oh, oh you got SOS me. if you want to. Oh, I do. I can't do it. Do it. Oh, wow. I don't think I fought this guy before. Or if I did, I forgot about him already. Really? Now, he's a story one. Think, you definitely yeah. fought him. Yeah, that, I forgot about him. He was just in the snow area, so I... forgot about him. Did you already mount him? Yeah, I mounted. Okay. is fucking fun as hell. Locked you. Alright, I didn't need to block my get some full metal on. This crazy thing. Oh, good. <laughs> He's gonna get stunned to fuck, is what's gonna happen. Um. Broken. So if you don't remember him, breaking the, the hands make it so that he can't slide around as much and he f that. Oh, cool. Uh, and breaking the, the fangs do something as well. I can't remember what it is, though, but it's... Yeah. Okay, goddammit. Oh, 
I can fly. Right. Ooh. Hey, asshole. Could you please? Could you please? I'm Could you please? I was withdrawn. Cool. Thanks for joining. They probably crashed because we're not like struggling with it or anything. Right. Curves. <laughs> I love that thing. Alright, got on right after that. Nice. do again you mount easier and you can actually you can like mount without having to jump off kind of there's a I'll explain it in a second um, it also just kind of lets you glide if you hit a spot that allows you to do it wore off just as I tr was trying to try it out. Oh my god. I stunned again, what the fuck? Oh, out of breath, are you? My <laughs> <laughs> clutch club. Fuck him up. Hey, fuck it, I'll just do it again. Yeah. So yeah, if you ever see me flying across this, um, that's what happens with hammer. <laughs> you basically do like a move and uh, and then you can follow up with a clutch claw.
Nope. Yes, sir. That didn't hurt. He's having a bad yes, time. <laughs> oh, I should have should pick up the slinger. Yep, bring it on. Push, please. Two. Not happy. You could die. He's like, come I'm on, guys. Hit me. There we go. I was like waiting for it. I was like, keep it coming, I guess. That's a good news for me. He may knock me off, but I still get nice damage. Oh fuck. Okay. And he's gone. Oh, good. And he's gone. <laughs> so you don't remember Barry Alth, what do you think about him now? Um, easier with more armor. <laughs> yeah. Also, he I think last time he fought us, we were on the icy terrain. Also, yeah. Um, there was a lot more freezing going on. Is he trying to interrupt my carving? Can't do it anymore. No. <laughs> nice. So this should give you uh, tickets. Um, if you get more than two, you can make a weapon immediately. Um, let's see. I didn't actually get a close look before I accepted it. Yeah, it was a gold crown small. Maybe two? That was a small one? Yeah, gold crown. Fletcher. Um, I believe I got two. Okay. So then go to uh, the Melder, and kind of for the the weapons you're interested in, it's it has a good greatsword, mm -hmm. because it's got positive affinity on it, and uh, deco slots. Or a level three deco slot. Um, its hammer is good. That's what I'm using now. The hunting horn is good. The lance is really good. Oh, there you are. Uh, meld items? No, not meld. Um, forge. Oh, go to the forge guy. Yeah. The charge blade is okay. It's weird because it's it's like um, it puts you into purple sharpness immediately with every uh, handicraft. Mm -hmm. Has positive affinity and a level three, but 
you probably are better off with the Shara Ishvalda. Um, until you can get the Raytheon. I think it's Insect Glaive is also pretty good. Right. I don't really have a good in Insect Glaive. Um, 837 for triton? sharpness. Oh, that's not... The tree we looking at the... Uh... It's at the very bottom of all of them. It's the arena tree. Mm, I see. Guild Palace Rod. Well... 775. What do I have to Look at the upgraded version of it. That's kind of how you want to you want to go about it. Well, it's question marks for me. Is it? For which one? For the arena tree? Yeah, I know for which weapon. Uh guild palace rod for the the uh inside glaive. Yeah, the glaive. says you cannot forge this equipment. That's weird. I can it's see just upgrade. Namiel. Maybe it's you because know, of can, the... Uh... I can't see any of the last level stuff except for uh, Fate's Wing for Devil's Yo. Which is <sighs> Maybe new. it's Large Elder Bone. Maybe that's why. I don't know. It, it shouldn't be because it's it's just Namiel. Namiel. Oh, maybe it's the hard. Maybe it's the Namiel from Guiding Land. That's why. But the upgraded one is eight thirty-seven. Um, eight thirty-seven damage. Uh, a little bit of white, but it immediately goes into purple with Handicraft. Fifteen percent affinity, and a level three slot. But, oh yeah, everything, so the only differences between the uh, the base and the upgraded one is that Handicraft goes immediately to purple, 837 base attack, and 15% affinity. I might go for upgrading the Devil Joe one I have. Oh, you're using Devil Joe? 68. I have one. Oh, I have a grunge you don't want to use that, though. It's the, the negative affinity is going to kill you in this. Really? Yeah, negative affinity went from being manageable because of Max Might to mm -hmm. being a, a no. Yeah, because it's, I mean, it's not useless. It, it's really, really niche. For something like Insect Glaive, you want to crit to get your, your max damage from it. Um, All right. Plus, actually, hold on, let me, let me check. I think you're going to end up with, with higher raw on the on the guild palace because of non-elemental boost all oh, right because it's a uh, it's water it's hidden water three seven eight my oh i should probably check to see if you have attack on here i don't okay so with non-elemental boost the arena coins that's why you can't see the guild palace stuff what why would it block out arena coins that's weird yeah because like it's it's lunastra and below the the final ones i can't see for that i guess if you need the arena coin i mean we could go do one it. uh there's a really really easy one and it's against the monster you never fought before so that'll be fun okay um uh, but yeah, I was gonna say my my uh, with with non-elemental boost, my insect life is 880 on it. Yeah, the the one thing I'm missing is the the arena coin. Power of the ID for it. You're in 30 minutes. Was that? Uh, I'm, Are you guys gonna I'm still be go playing for... here in 30 minutes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well I'll be done working and then I'll jump yeah. on. Okay. Okay. We could try that arena one, so I can get yeah. the coins and have a good glaive. Because I think I need a good glaive for um, those Val missions. I'm not good on the ground with those things. Okay. 
Um, this is what it looks like, by the way. It's it's pretty sick, right? I I love that like the dragoon style. I, I was looking at the uh, the Final Fantasy one, and it's a shame it doesn't do as much damage as this. Yeah. But oh, if you want the upgraded Final really Fantasy, good. that's um, it's behemoth. No, the upgraded Final Fantasy is can't remember the name <clears> of it. It's for all the of the Gable. Capcom ones. Uh, I, I think it's stop the winter. Start the no, because it's at the two and a half hour mark, and if he's gonna jump on, then I wanna sure, go sure. for a while without getting crossed.